Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to rope. It's your girl Keonti and I'm going to give us a quick reading here. I'm going to see what's coming in for us. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're cross-watching for the baby sharks, if it resonates from your perspective, feel free to put yourself where you go in the scenario. If you like my vibe and the messages resonate with you, Pisces, can you please make sure to give me the like, the comment, the subscribe, and the share. And if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information will be provided in the description box below. All right, Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and see what's coming in, what's the cause of it, what's the outcome and the, and the advice, and we'll go ahead and clarify. These messages are intended to be about love, Pisces, but they can resonate in other areas of your life. So listen with your, with your head and your heart, okay? All right. Let's see. What's the incoming energies coming in for Pisces? What's incoming? What's the incoming energies coming in, Spirit? What's the energies that's coming in for the baby sharks? Death. You could be dealing with the Scorpio here. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Pisces. So what's getting ready to come in here? As an ending and a transformation here. You could definitely be dealing with the Scorpio. This could be, be dealing with work. This could be dealing with home. This is an ending and a transformation. But with the Ace of Pentacles under the deck, it's a new beginning coming in, right? Some of you may be having a new beginning with the Scorpio here. The Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning of something abundant, right? Stability. Some of you could be leaving a job or leaving a home or something like that. Some of you could be leaving a relationship with that. What I know for certain that's incoming for sure, Pisces, what's happening here is something is ending and transforming, but it's coming out to be a new opportunity for you, Pisces. Yep, Eight of Wands. There's communication coming in about this, and it could be coming from a Sagittarius. This is something that's been, this, this is something that, I feel like this is something that you've been waiting to hear. It's something about divine timing. When this, when, it, when this communication comes in, someone is going to be able to set, be set free. Someone's going to be able to walk away. Yep. This, this is a, this is ending of a, something that's dis, been disappointing. There's something that's been disappointing that's ending and there's a new beginning coming in and there's a message coming in behind this Pisces. Mm. What is the cause of the death energy for Pisces? What is the cause of this energy, this incoming death energy for the baby sharks? What is causing the death energy here? Why is the death energy here for the baby sharks, for Pisces? I tend to read for the future, guys. So if this hasn't happened yet, it could be the lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but now I have two major arcanas here. The Hierophant, three, icon, three major arcanas. For some of you, if this is dealing with work and career, there's something ending and transforming here. And the cause of it is maybe because you're being divinely guided to go in a different direction. If this is work for you, or even like home, like some of you could definitely be like moving and contracts and stuff like that. There's something here about, uh, first of all, we'll get into love in a minute. But if there's something that's ending and transforming as far as work or contracts or commitments or even like a marriage or something like here, something about us being divinely guided to happen here. Two major arcanas. Now, Pisces. You could also be having some sort of ending and transformation in a soulmate connection here. This could have been a connection where you guys didn't share traditional values or belief systems. This could literally be a marriage breaking down here. Pisces, if this is not happening to you, it could be happening to someone in your vicinity. Okay? Just put yourself where you go in a scenario. This could definitely be a marriage ending here. Yeah. The Hierophant, the Fool. Look at all these major arcana. Pisces, whatever this is is going on, this is big. So I have, for some of you, you're definitely getting a new job or going into a new career or something like that. Because the Hierophant and the Fool, this is El Taurus and Aries energy, but there's something here about going in a new direction. Some of you are definitely getting new jobs, new careers. Some of you could definitely be leaving long-term marriages and commitments. Someone could definitely be getting ready to leave a marriage here, right? The hangman, Pisces, you're involved here. There's an energy here of waiting Possibly sacrificing and suffering until some sort of heavy burden has been dropped in this situation here. Mm. So Pisces, whatever this is, is coming in. I feel like it's been a long time coming here. What's the outcome for this for the baby sharks? What's the outcome in this situation? Ooh, Pisces, we definitely going to clarify. What's the outcome in this situation for the baby sharks? What's the outcome for this situation for the Pisces spirit? What's the outcome in this situation? Very clear about the outcome for me. What's the outcome in the situation? The five of swords, some sort of conflict. Pisces, if there's not a mental con oh, it's ending though. It's ending. Okay, Pisces. So, like if 
the with the five of swords if this situation is dealing like for some of you like i'm getting mental stress right anguish about this right there could definitely be a lot of anguish about this it is going to end with the ten of swords so i feel like the mental anguish or the competition or the mind game or whatever it is is getting ready to end right with the ten of swords Page of Wands, the Hermit. There's an energy of figuring out what your next move is going to be here because there's a tower moment. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo or a Scorpio for sure. But I feel like there is some sort of conflict that's ending. The outcome is the Five of Swords, right? The outcome is the conflict, but underneath the deck, I see it ends. What's the advice here for the baby sharks? I'm definitely going to clarify for it. What's the, what's the advice here for the baby sharks for Pisces in this situation? Page of Cups is something about emotions here. Six of Cups. Pisces, I got to tell you, some of you could be dealing with a soulmate that's kind of like emotionally immature. There could have been some sort of like um, mental struggle going on between you and this person. The Five of Swords is someone who wants to win at all costs sometimes. Someone who does not play fair, right? I feel like Pisces, for some of you, there's something. And it, it, this could be a situation dealing with children. But something there's something here about a conflict with soulmate energy. With the Six of Cups being under the under the deck and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is long-term energy here. Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Pisces, it looks like to me, there could definitely be something in and transforming with a Scorpio or a Gemini. It doesn't have to be any one of those signs. I feel like what's been happening is... There's been some, if, there, if there's not some sort of tug of war or or, or um competition or, or mental vein behind children, someone could have been like trying to play on your emotions or um you could be dealing with somebody who's like emotionally immature but something is ending and transforming with that situation i definitely feel like it's a soulmate that you've been dealing with right for some of you i see it's dealing with money for children i see it right someone's been holding out a long time and it's getting ready to come in or they're getting ready to have to give something up i see a situation dealing with you and soulmates, if it's not dealing with the soulmate, it's dealing with like children and family, past life situations and stuff like that. This is long term stuff going on here with the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you are leaving a long term job or career that you've been in for a long time because you're getting ready to give energy to a newer project or endeavor here, right? Some of you, somebody may have not let their employer know yet. They haven't told the employer, they haven't told someone that they're leaving. I see that as well. There's some sort of investment that you've been waiting on, Pisces, with the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. It's getting ready to come in. Something has been long awaited here. There's something that's ended and transforming here for sure that's getting ready to come in. I feel like it, it is a long time coming. And either if this is not dealing with the, if this is not dealing with a soulmate in particular, it's something that you're being divinely guided to do here, right? But let's go ahead and clarify, baby sharks. Why is death here? For the Pisces, for the incoming energies. Why is death the incoming energies here? Like I said, you could definitely be dealing with the Scorpio, the Cherry. You could be dealing with the Cancerian. But see, what's, what's getting ready to happen here? Look, the Six of Cups. This is definitely dealing with either... Either this is either dealing with the soulmate connection or it's, it's dealing with something or it's with the six of cups here or something that you're being divinely guided and led to do because I have death in a cherry. You could be dealing with the Scorpio or a Cancerian, but this is like something that's ending and transforming. And this is I'm getting ready to move forward and move ahead. Some of you could be moving back home or moving away from home. Someone could be like, you know, where, you know, you're from here, but you're moving somewhere else. Right. Um. <clears throat> But there's definitely an energy of soulmate. So if this is, like I said, just not dealing with children. This is dealing with the soulmate energy. Yep, High Priestess Pisces, there you are using your intuition about this for sure. And under here is the Emperor. There's a masculine energy at the Nine of Cups, the Tower. There could definitely be a masculine energy that's thinking about wish fulfillment here. And it's getting ready to come in like, like, like dynamite. You could definitely be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio here. Somebody is blowing up some sort of foundation here because they're bored and they're discontent. They've been doing a long, they've been thinking about this for a long time. They've been considering what they want to invest in. They're searching their emotions about it because the ultimate goal is the Ten of Pentacles, the house, the home, longevity here. Yep, and I do see soulmate connections involved in this. Why is the lovers here for the cause of this death and this cherry energy? Why is the lovers the cause of the death energy? Why is the lovers? 
the Hierophant. See, there's, there it is. If this is Again, if this is not about work, right? If this is not about you doing something that you're divinely guided and led to do and leaving some sort of long-term career endeavor and going into another one, I feel like this is something here about a soulmate and traditional values and belief systems here. I have a lot of majors here, Pisces. This is, this is uh, Gemini. This is Taurus. The Six of Wands. Listen, if you're going into a new career, you're getting ready to have victory and success. You're being divinely guided to leave. Um, to, to, to leave. Like, and you may not even be leaving the career field. You may be going in a different direction or doing something a bit different. But you're getting victory and success here, baby sharks. I see it. Yep, Ace of Swords. You're going to get a yes, right? For some of you, you may have some, you, you may be letting something in and transform because you could have somebody who comes in, right? A soulmate. You guys may not, this person may not share your same tradition, your belief system, right? And you could be finally acknowledging. You could have somebody that like comes in for attention here, right? They only come in for attention. They want your attention. They want your acknowledgement. <clears throat> But then after that, it's the Knight of Wands, right? They're in and out, right? So some of you could be blowing up something with a soulmate here, right? You're ending and transforming this because you're getting ready to get control of a situation with a soulmate where there's a lot of like, uh -huh. let me just say, there's a lot of like, a lot of mental anguish between you and this person. Some of you could be acknowledging that someone comes in for attention, right? They come in for attention. They come in and get acknowledged. They come in hot and heavy with the Knight of Wands. Yep, there he goes. The King of Cups. But see, the Five of Swords, it's like a conflict with this person. Like you love this person, but it feels like it's something. It could always be some bullshit, right? Why is the Five of Swords the outcome for this situation for Pisces? Why is the Five of Swords the outcome for the situation? This is mental, the High Priestess. See, Pisces, the outcome is you using your intuition about this, right? Some of you are definitely having a conflict because you're fired up and you're passionate about doing something, but you'll have to end and transform and move forward with something that you're, you have to end and transform something that you're already doing. So it's causing you mental conflict here, right? With the Knight of Wands, you want to rush in and do something, but you have to, you have to end something, take control of something else, but you're being divinely guided to do this. Like if this is career, you're definitely being divinely guided some of you to be, to move into another career field, but you have to kind of wrap up some loose ends with, with, with what you're currently doing. And you're kind of like having a mental conflict because you're ready to rush in. You're really passionate and you're ready to make this move, but you're having to kind of do your due diligence in a situation for others of you. I see you using your intuition about a conflict about someone where there's no lack of passion with the Knight of Wands, this King of Cups, but there's always some sort of conflict. Feminine energy, you could definitely be using your intuition about this, right? You could be dealing with someone who's hot and heavy, who's passionate, but there's always some sort of conflict because this person comes in for attention or this person has an ego. You're searching your emotions about this now because you're tired of being stuck in your head about it. You're tired of being disappointed. There could definitely be third-party situations going on, but I see you making a decision here to get it, to enlighten yourself about this, okay? Okay. Let's see why the Page of Cups is the advice for Pisces. I apologize for the dog, guys. Why is the Page of Cups the advice here for Pisces? This is being emotionally honest. Some of you, judgment. Some of you are making a decision to emotionally distance yourself, right? To pull back your emotions, right? From a situation here. Ace of Cups. But I feel like there's a new opportunity happening. There's a new beginning. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Two of Cups. There's something going on with you and the soulmate, Pisces. You could have somebody kind of watching and looking at you. Somebody could be coming in and getting ready to make an apology here for this, for this situation because I don't feel like you're not speaking. You're just using your intuition here, right? Someone could be making a decision to come in and apologize to you. You could definitely be dealing with another water sign or you're making a decision to kind of like... um. Distance yourself emotionally from the situation with judgment in the page of cups. And this ace of cups, knight of cups, two of cups could just be a lot of self-love, right? I'll be my own best friend, right? I'll heal myself. Let me love on myself. But for others of you, I do I do see someone coming in offering an apology. Pisces, if you are looking to go into a different career field, you're making a decision to go into a career field where you got a lot of, going to something that you definitely have a lot of love and passion for. I feel like you're being divinely guided to do this. But I told you, if I see under the deck, Two with the seven of pentacles and the eight of cups here there is some sort of new beginning that's been a long time coming and it's involved with this energy of this death and this chariot coming in ending and transforming something getting victory and success and taking control of a situation and moving forward triumphantly okay Pisces, that's how I'm seeing it. If the messages resonate, make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and a share. And if you're interested in booking me, make sure to uh, email me. My information will be in the description box below. I love you, baby sharks, and continue to take care of yourselves until I bring you more messages. Bye-bye.